Since the trade war started, there's been a lot of talk about the US dollar losing its status as the world's reserve currency. For more than 70 years, the US dollar has served as the primary currency worldwide. However, six significant economies have recently started talking about replacing the dollar. This could have major implications for the US economy, and it's something you should be aware of. In this video, we're going to talk about why this is happening and what it would mean for the countries involved. The United States doesn't appear to be as economically or socially stable as it was a decade ago. A growing number of countries are now eager to find alternative banking systems in order to shield themselves from Washington tendency to use sanctions as a political negotiating chip. The BRICS nations – Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa – are also talking about cooperating to destroy the US dollar. According to Carla Norloff, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council and professor of political science at the University of Toronto, they're also advised to avoid using the euro and look for alternatives like the SWIFT secure messaging system, which is mostly used by international banks to transmit money. Twelve additional countries have expressed interest in joining the Cash Alliance. South African Foreign Minister Naledi Pandor told the media earlier this month. Saudi Arabia, the United Emirates, Egypt, Algeria, Argentina, Mexico and Nigeria are among them. And the latest agreement between Brazil and China is another indication that the informal collaboration underlying BRICS is working. The US dollar serves as both a worldwide unit of account and the default currency in international commerce. As a result, the majority of the world's central banks, governments and significant corporations maintain their foreign exchange assets in US dollars. Additionally, the widespread usage of dollars fuels a sizable chunk of the demand for US government bonds on international financial markets since holders of dollars desire returns on those holdings, perhaps not any longer. The superpower China wants things done its way as well. The government of Brazil announced that it had negotiated a deal with China, the main rival of American financial power. Brazilian officials desire to settle their substantial commerce with China in the Chinese yuan. The two nations will be allowed to immediately swap currency as part of their agreement. It is anticipated that they would cut expenses, foster even more international trade and ease investment, according to a statement from the Brazilian Trade and Investment Promotion Agency. China and Brazil conducted two-way commerce at a record $150.5 billion last year, and China also conducted comparable trade with Pakistan and Russia. Brazilian oil production and high-tension electrical transmission line investments have made Brazil the main receiver of Chinese investment in Latin America as of late. Brazil used to first convert its purchases and trade into US dollars before engaging in a transaction with China, mostly because of the US's status as the leading economic force in the world. Not anymore, though. Brazil is just one of several nations that no longer trust the United States to start conducting business. The proposed multilateral trade agreement, the Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP, which was scrapped by US President Donald Trump soon after taking office, could simply be replaced by the new trade agreement. A union of almost 3.4 billion people is anticipated to result from the possible RCEP, which has 16 signatory nations and a combined $49.5 trillion economy that represents about 40% of global GDP. Additionally, the nation is actively advocating the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership RCEP be a free trade pact that will involve Southeast Asian nations. In the meantime, Saudi Arabia, Iran, India and the United Arab Emirates have started looking for alternatives to using dollars to pay for oil. They're justified in doing so. Henkel claims that because the great majority of energy, oil and gas, contracts are billed in US dollars, energy costs frequently fluctuate along with the value of the greenback. For nations that import energy, the detrimental impacts of increasing energy prices are made worse by a strengthening dollar. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, claimed that by undermining confidence in the dollar, the US is making a colossal strategic mistake. Putin has never supported banning or restricting the usage of US dollars or dollar transactions. Russian Finance Minister Anton Selyunov, however, stated earlier this year that the nation needed to sell its holdings of US Treasury bonds in favor of safer investments like the ruble, the euro, and precious metals. As a result of the sanctions that have been imposed since 2014 for a variety of reasons, the nation has already taken a number of moves to towards de-dollarizing the economy. After the US threatened to impose additional severe sanctions that would target Russia's financial system, Russia created a national payment system as an alternative to SWIFT, Visa, and MasterCard. Moscow has thus far been able to gradually phase out the US dollar from its exports by concluding currency exchange deals with a number of nations, including China, India and Iran. Russia has suggested switching from using the US currency to the euro in commerce with the European Union. Russia used to be one of the top 10 holders of US government debt, but it now holds almost no US Treasury securities. Moscow has used the funds to increase the country's foreign reserves and to increase its gold holdings in an effort to keep the currency stable. 
Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan declared ambitions to break the US dollar's rule earlier this year by implementing a new strategy that encourages non-dollar trade with the rest of the world. Later, the Turkish president declared that Ankara is getting ready to transact business with China, Russia and Ukraine using its own national currencies. A potential switch from the US dollar to national currencies in commerce with Iran was also contemplated by Turkey. Economic and political factors influenced the decision. Since the country's attempted military coup in 2016 to remove President Erdogan, relations between Ankara and Washington have been worse. According to reports, Erdogan believes the United States was involved in the revolt and claims that Washington is protecting the exiled preacher, Fatullah Gulen, who Ankara believes was the coup's mastermind. Following the imposition of economic penalties by Washington in response to the detention of U.S. evangelical pastor Andrew Brunson on terrorism-related charges in connection with the uprising, the Turkish economy suffered. Erdogan has criticized Washington for starting a global trade war, penalizing Turkey and attempting to isolate Iran on several occasions. The purchase of Russian S-400 missile systems by a NATO member fueled the flames. Additionally, Turkey is attempting to abandon the dollar in an effort to defend its own currency. Over the past year, the lira's value relative to the US dollar has decreased by over half. Inflation that was out of control and rising costs for goods and services made the currency collapse worse. Iran's sensational comeback to the international commercial scene didn't continue for very long. The 2015 nuclear agreement was signed by Tehran and a group of countries including the UK, the US, France, Germany, Russia, China and the EU. But shortly after Donald Trump was elected US president, he decided to pull out of the agreement. The oil-rich country has once again been a target of Washington's harsh sanctions, which have been reinstated. Washington has also warned to impose fans on any nations that violate the ban. The repressive laws outlawed corporate transactions with the Islamic Republic and repressed the nation's oil sector. In order to get paid for its oil exports, Tehran has been compelled by sanctions to explore alternatives to the US currency. Iran and India reached an agreement for all transactions using the Indian rupee. A barter agreement was also arranged with Iraq, a neighboring country. To reduce their reliance on the US currency in light of the financial issues brought on by US sanctions, the partners also want to conduct mutual transactions in the Iraqi dinar. India, the sixth largest economy in the world, is one of the major importers of goods. It's not unexpected that the nation is heavily influenced by sanctions imposed on its trading partners and is directly touched by the majority of global geopolitical disputes. As a result of US economic sanctions imposed against Moscow earlier this year, Delhi moved to use currency payments for the supply of Russian S-400 air defense systems. In order to buy Iranian crude when Washington reinstituted sanctions on Tehran, the nation also had to move to the rupee. To increase trade and investment without using a third currency, India and the United Arab Emirates signed a currency exchange deal in December. There you have it. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.